Hi guys, Natalia here and I have something in here different to show you. I don't know if you would like to see or not, but I will share with you my scrapbooking pages that I made for my little girl when she went for a um, pageant contest. We took her only twice and they were required to bring a photo album. So she did well, she won some trophies and uh, best photogenic trophy. So this is just a regular album and I put just a piece of uh, craft uh, cardstock paper in here. So the judges thought uh, maybe I hide something up there. And actually they tried to open and rip that from me. You see that? What a bunch of pigs they are. They they ripped it. They was trying to find something behind the paper. That's ridiculous. Okay, so here's my pages. And I'm going to show you... Let me just put this way so it's more comfortable for me. And I will pull out and we're going to share a little bit of my different kind of work. We're going to take a break from diamond painting today. Okay, so here's the page I made. I digitally make her sitting with the fairies up there. Beautiful mushrooms, they're kind of like a talking. And she was actually in the page and um, she was resting between uh, competitions. So I did this, look at this pretty. This is my coloring with whoopsie daisy images. Some gems up there. I did some uh, stitches on the paper, made my own flowers, and some stickers as well. So, this is first page. I'm just gonna put aside so we don't kill too much time and fix them later. Here's my second page. I love Daisy as it's my first flower. Here I did also I cut a big circle and I did uh, can you see a stitch in all the way around around this image. I use one of my punches to create this Daisy. I put seed beads on the inside the Martha Stewart butterfly and here is a says princess in gems I didn't write down nothing in here which I should this picture was from her first pageant winter snow snowflake pageant so yes that's one of her pages and I added some charm in here and some metal corner in here. Okay, next. This is just a simple, very simple page. I love the Martha Stewart doily punch, so I did all the way around and just pick some uh, swirl jams as well. Put digital. Um, paper to put in the digital it was like a free images so I added some stuff some swirls in here and this is like a, a double-sided paper so it looks pretty on, a, on a each side when you flip pages okay this pages I made kind of like a Easter page look at this beautiful you can see the stitch on the other side so I did, I wave this ribbon, oh no, this ribbon I think I bought it, but I, I know how to make them and I make this kind of raffle ribbon. Uh, I added some stickers, I made this flower with the little button inside, and this one is by Prima, I think this flowers so I just added gems to them and a hard doily here and digitally uh, added 
photo to the digital paper frame. I cannot remember now uh, which artist did this, but I do have somewhere in files. And of course some yellow feather in here. Okay, okay, this one also kind of like Eastery. Here is my little princess. I love this picture. Those blue eyes. Oh, I love that. So I made those very cute buttons as a flower and I put thread in each color coordinating them. And I think they look cute. Also, it's a, just a simple page. This is just a beautiful lace on the bottom. Uh, also all the stitching I did because obviously I printed this picture so I have to stitch it so it's never loose and some digital images that I printed out and cut it out okay you can see all the stitching on the other side as well all the way around I know I'm using my stitching machine for the paper not for the clothes I'm weird and I know probably many of you doing the same thing okay here is another okay the beads bit bit stuck okay there's a bit up there I have to turn this okay there is another let me see this pearl hanging and a bird cage from Tim Holtz die cut and I make her kind of look into this beautiful fairy or butterflies. There's a cute, cute images up there. And then a gorgeous lace with some flowers. Here is another picture. All the work digital that I did before that, to be honest, I don't even remember now how I did that. That's crazy, isn't it? Here is another Tim Holt die cut. Swirls. I love swirls. And it says cherish in gems. Okay, let's go. Next one. Here is my little princess with the crown. Here's some flowers, die cuts. Here's little details. Uh, three so I guess in here she was three years old good thing I placed this one so now I know okay and what's why is it two pages in here oh, I don't know okay here is another page I named beautiful because she is beautiful this is just a sticker glittery sticker Martha Stewart butterfly that I added pearls to it and here is another teaser laugher love that smile all those little details gems more butterflies here's the lace on the top with gems I think it looks good what are you saying I could be creative but I'm not much about um, oh, actually, in here, uh, some certificate for, from the pageant here, and here she is with her trophy. So, yeah, she was three years old, she got the most photogenic and second place runner up princess. She was so thrilled and happy. Here's some images, some beautiful lace, mm. and this one says moments, an image from Whoopsie Daisy, and that was in 2011. Here's some corner with the flowers and lace around. I don't think I did any stitching in here unless it's no stitching in here. This is another simple page. I was just trying to make a. I think this was my first play with digital 
uh, to kind of add digital elements to the picture so that's why I added those glasses I added the bow and the crown up there so that was just me trying to play around with digital programs okay so live simple laugh often love without conditions okay here's another page okay so yeah for girls it's kind of easy for me to do pages for boys it's always harder here it is we're just trying to photo shoot i think that time i had my new canon camera and we were trying to do some different shots and she loved to pose and here are some elements here's the cute little dragon that I created as a 3D by adding like many layers up there and says have a blooming great day and I did this buttons uh, you can buy this okay it's focusing you can buy them clear one at the dollar store and you just place on a colorful paper, glue them with the clear glue and you're gonna have this uh, beautiful different buttons to decorate your stuff. Oh, well, here's the pony. Not the pony, I always say pony. The unicorn guys, unicorn, some gems. Here is a flower that I made with the organza okay and this one she was absolutely baby and this is my very favorite um favorite picture of her we were camping and she woke up just woke up we went outside from a trailer her wet was kind of like a sweaty from sleeping and curled up and this was my perfect the most beautiful shot of her I think I ever made and here it is she looking to a little fairy on the mushroom like a listening stories here's the ribbons with the lace some elements with the sparkle I think I embossed or just a glitter the butterfly here's a sticker heart Martha Stewart punch around and some stamping I did. I have these beautiful stamps with butterflies. Dream big. And on this side we have from her Valentine portfolio runner-up. That's what she got this for this portfolio album. She won the prize from Valentine pageant. And her trophies in her room. Okay, here is again same picture. But I kind of created this page as I thought, you know, she's a girl and I used to be a dancer. So I write in here, not write, but stamp, I hope you dance. And can you recognize me up there? Here I am, dancing, performing in Ukraine. So same image, I just added for her my homemade, handmade daisies, little flowers to make her little decoration for her head. And here she is, we're laughing. <laughs> okay, so that's this and here is also my handmade work. Okay, what well, is going on here? This one page, Lilla Loud, has a jingle on it. Okay, so I added here from the dollar store, Lilla Jingles. Lots of things going on in here, guys. Little gems, like a berries, some mitten glove sticker from a dollar store. Here is more ornaments from dollar store so as this little baby kind of like a decorative ribbon I don't know how would you call it okay this is a bread bread beautiful one some 
die cut punches I think around this one and die cut the swirl so that's her at Christmas yeah, I don't want to focus okay so there's a snowman this is Tim Hall's die cuts the Christmas tree and Martha Stewart's snowflake punch okay there's some emotion here I, I said this page has lots of going on guys okay so now I think this is the last page is the last page yes for now I didn't do too many pages this one is my page I don't I just added later to this portfolio so this is me and I think I'm 20 years old no 23 in here and there's little fairy listening to me some uh, corner gems as well from a dollar store Martha Stewart butterfly all these flowers um, this paper from heartfelt creation also this big die oval die that I stitch can you see uh, I did stitch to the paper I made all these flowers this roses as uh, dice and stems from heartfelt creations as well this is just a little tiny mini beanie punch that I have and I love those little mini flowers I tear paper to make this interesting lots of work I did with this page but I think after all it looks not bad not bad also this page all stitch around to keep in place here is another fairy from this side some gems what it says dream dream yes I am a dreamer but I kind of follow my dreams and try to catch them okay so this is my collection of me and little girl I have a few pages I made for my boys but not too many I just find it's really hard for me to do uh, pages for boys because you don't really put all this you know sparkles and flowers you have to make kind of simple and I don't know what simple is I don't know how to make it simple for me it's have to be like you know all this stuff and there's also here there's a uh, lace in here and the bow that I made just to roll a ribbon on my fingers without any tools so yeah I like all the sparkles and glitter so guys thank you so much for watching I hope you like my collection of diamond ah diamond painting right see that's all I'm thinking diamond painting <laughs> that's ridiculous okay my collection of scrapbook pages don't have too many but I hope you like what I have and that's all from my scrapbook and pages guys I can show you other my project that I did but that would be probably next would be with paper craft I would do my collection of 3d which is kind of 3d as well here but actual pieces that I made so that would be interesting too and maybe you would like to see some some tutorial on that stuff because some some pieces beautiful I would say that okay thank you so much for watching staying with 